How's it going everybody? I have another extension that I want to show you all today. I think we're on number four of the video series. I, th I think so. And I have a few more after this, so I'm really excited about it. But the one I want to talk about today is called Comment Links. And basically what it does, I will show you. Uh, but if you don't already have it, go ahead and go to Manage Extensions and install it. And then restart your Visual Studio and open it back up. And once you're to that point, come back here. Um, so basically what it does is if you have, um, you can see I have a comment here and then you can see this button, it gets added in here um, with the word link. And then this is the file it's referencing along with the line number. So if you click the link, it'll take you right to that file in that specific line. Um, you can see my, my cursor is on line 34 and that's where my link was right here. Uh, so if we go to the documentation, for this extension, it's pretty straightforward. Let me hold up, let me make myself small. Uh, so you can see a little bit better. Um, all you do is, is you just use the word uh, link and then you uh, can name the file and then you can do a couple other things too. And you can also reference a file that's in another project with a slash just so you can just traverse a directory um, in this solution or extension too. Um, so it's it's pretty neat and it's, it's pretty useful. Um, it might not be the best solution in terms of like, <laughs> you know, you can definitely overdo it, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, but if you use them some, like, something like this uh, and you wanna know where something is, again, you can just say like, you can see me typing it out. So if I was just gonna say like, this main method is called from my home controller, so I can do called from uh, and then I can write the word link and then you can see I'll type in home controller and you can see that button kind of pop up Right there, and then I'll do the line number and it it works instantly. So as soon as I type that in It works. Uh, so there's no like loading time or you don't have to save or anything like that. It just kind of happens um, So again, this is pretty neat I, I never really have seen something like this and I can definitely see the practicality and usefulness of it. So uh Hold on, let me make myself a little bit bigger. So that's all I had for today's extension. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have another one that I'm gonna come, um, hopefully make a video on soon and that I think is neat. So if you like the series, if you like seeing some of these extensions that I think are a little harder to find but really useful, uh, let me know in the comments. I love hearing you guys. And if you have any suggestions on extensions that you wanna see or you have any ones that um, maybe you use a lot in your like development. Uh, let me know too. I love to hear. So thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it. Have a good one.